Je vous laisse mettre une euh, si vous voulez vous acheter des trucs. Oh regardez It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Mais non Mais non mais t'es un... sérieux Romain oh, mais t'es vraiment en même temps Hey guys, what's up? Today I will talk about the Amax or the Galil or the CR56, call it what you want. But for me, this weapon is the most overpowered AR in the game for the season 6 of Warzone. This AR is underestimated because of its recall troubles. But you can deal with it with the right attachments. Most of people run it with, with the VLK optic and the Mark for grip, but I don't like this class setup and I want to show you another build for this weapon. So, these are the damage for the most powerful AR in the game with the FAL in the first position with 100 HP if you hit your target with one bullet in the head then there is a Roden then there is a FR 5.56 and then you have the Galil and the AK-47 and last you want the FN Scar but there is a few problems with the weapons that you can see at the screen because first of all the FAL is a semi-automatic rifle and you have to be comfortable with the trigger finger and it's not the case for everybody then the ODEN has so much recoil troubles you have to put the right adjustments to control it but the other problem is the ammunition. You can have only 30 bullets and it must be a problem in your fights. Then you have the FR 5.56 which have good damage but this weapon is running by two way. Semi-automatic rifle with one shot or three shot burst. But it's the same thing, it's not easy to use, it's not a comfortable weapon. And then you have the FN Scar, which has recoil troubles, like the Galil and the AK-47, but the other problem is the low ammunition, you have 30 bullets in your uh, rounds mags, if you want to put the maximum. So, for me, the two powerful weapons, the two viable weapons in Warzone are the Galil and the AK-47. Now, if we check the Galil and the AK-47, you can see that there is more advantage to use the Galil because of its fire rate, which more important than the AK-47 with 620 rounds per minute and with the damage that we know the DPS damage per second is more interesting with the Galil than with the AK-47 and the size of the mag is a little bit bigger with the Galil you can use 75 rounds with the AK-47 but you decrease a lot your ADS speed. In fact the AK-47 has an only advantage on the Galil is its ADS speed with faster and the fact that you can use a barrel which take off for grip and you can use another attachment. But 
I don't like it. I think the Galil is more interesting and when you see the strike to kill we are the same between the two weapons but in fact you have to think with the total time to kill this is the time to kill with the ADS speed and the time to kill is born from the DPS and the fire rate so with the ADS speed, the fire rate and the DPS the Galil is better than the AK-47 that's why this weapon I think is the most overpowered AR in the game right now in season 6 for Razum so I will show you my class setup try this enjoy the gameplay and Je lâche mon drone. 